Hello YouTube, this is Carl at BMX Guy and this is my one year review on the Carver Thai custom 20 inch frame that I had made. So anyway, just got it really set up for this season. Um, I've been riding it throughout the beginning of March. Um, I do ride around this neighborhood, but yeah, so what has changed since like I started with this thing? Well, the last video I actually relaced this wheel with wheel smith spokes just to match the front wheel that I redid in another video. Um, I just wanted to match for the most part. That, that's all that mattered. I don't think they changed the weight. As far as um, the ride feel and everything else, like the way it's riding, it's actually fine. It, it's one of them frames that you gotta get used to being like a little wiggly in a sense. Um, the last time in the one month review, I was talking about moving the wheel up just to keep the chain from slapping. Um, I had the wheel back again, but I moved it back forward. So as far as forward feels, it probably feels a little bit better, a little more stable. And yeah, the chain doesn't seem to slap anywhere near as much. I did make a video on maybe a possible crank change, but when I got this crank in the middle of summer, um, I was pretty happy with getting chrome cranks, and I, I just don't want to take them off. Uh, the ceram cranks would be lighter, obviously, but um, the only issue with them is that they have like a narrow Q factor. And with this frame, it's fine, but will that affect how it feels? Like, let's say the Q factor it's pretty much a half inch inward on both ways, both arms. So I may not like it. So I don't know if I'm going to put them on there or not. But right now, it just didn't have a metric century on this bike yet. I, I just did a metric century Monday or a week ago. Yeah, last week. Last week, Monday. So that ride was kind of like, oh, I did a ride on this the day before. And... I had to go somewhere very far away, like Havertown, so I decided to do a Metro Century with the folding bike instead. So I didn't get to ride this far, but I rode that one. Um, I'm not having any issues with anything creaking. I think when I did the MS150, the first thing I did when I took it home was kind of like I re-greased the seat post and bolts in the seat post, right? Along with like anything here, just made sure it was all tight, not creaking. Um, the wheels never give me any issues. I don't have any problems with the wheels. And even like the steering tube and all that stuff was fine. So yeah, th this next season should ride just as nice. Um, I do I do know that I don't feel as fatigued on this bike because of the less, the less weight. Meaning like it doesn't seem like I'm able to do the ride and it just seems like I'm not as tired. But then I do the ride on the folding bike and I'm really tired. But I'd like to point out that the Speed Uno is like 30 pounds. This is what 16 to 17. It's almost like riding two bikes at the same time. So yeah. But anyway, I think the way it's been handling is fine. Um, it didn't disintegrate. Like a lot of people are like, oh, it's not made in USA. It's going to disintegrate. Well, it's working better than I ever expected. Um, these handlebars are what 10 years old at least, or 12 years old. The forks are 10 years old and they're doing fine. They were made in what, Taiwan, China too. They are made by XACD when the frame is made by Watley. And I guess they're in China, but what's China? Is it still the same old thing or is it Taiwan too? I don't, I don't know how that works over there. Um, yeah, so as far as any issues with it, I haven't had any issues at all. I mean, that's it. Uh, I think it's well worth its money and I'm going to keep riding it for this whole season and many seasons to come. Anyway, um, yeah, this is that BMX guy and sign off.